Dear friends, I have a very wonderful news and I want to share with you that God so loved this world. He sent His begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not to be perished but have a life. And I'm here to remind you about the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God Almighty who quit his glory in the heaven, took a flesh, born on the earth, and went to the cross of our Father God as a Savior, as a Redeemer, because purpose of all living on the earth to be saved, salvation, which is a wonderful news for all people on the earth. Think about your souls. Think about your life. What do you need that you could say that you are successful? A lot of money, house, a fancy car, but you cannot take your car with you. You cannot take your money with you. You cannot take anything with you because one day our life will be terminated and we'll stand in front of God to see Him to respond. And penalty for sin it's a doubt, but praise God that we have a hope in Jesus Christ, who is the way and only the way to be saved. Today is a day of mercy, and God calls you to recon reconcile with Him. Reconcile. Reconciliation could be only in Jesus and through Jesus Christ. And you need to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. We need the blood of Jesus, and wrong is wrong. Read the word of God. Everyone needs the Lord Jesus and repentance, which is his mercy, to be forgiven. But praise God, and I'm here to declare that kingdom of heaven is at hand. Kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repenting of sin and belief in Christ Jesus. Maybe you are church member or baptized. It's not enough to be saved. You must be born again. You must to change your lifestyle and understand an evangelical truth. It means that homosexual relation is abomination and sin. And I'm here not to scare you. I'm here to remind you about God's love and that God forgives the sin. If you are in adultery and you cheat your wife or you cheat your husband, repent in your sin and God will forgive you. If you're in a sexual relationship before marriage, repent, be married, and God will bless your relationship. God bless you, sir. Because the right, it's a right. And the wrong is Jesus is the Lord. He is the truth. He is the way. Please, please don't throw away. It's the word of God. Okay. Please have it. And I'll give you more. I have some more. It's New Testament, second part of the Bible. Okay. Please don't throw away. Okay. The word of God, precious word of God. Okay, I'll see how many I have in English. What languages do you speak? I have in the different languages. Spanish, I have something in Spanish. Russian too? I speak Russian, original language. I hope that you understand, understand my English with my own accent. Please have it. Okay, remember Christ loves you. Okay. Russian? Russian. Uh, could you read it in Russian or not? I can read it in Russian. I'll give it okay. Are you sure he will yeah. accept it? Yeah. It's no problem. But don't throw away, please. Oh, if you want it, just don't you. take it, okay? What denomination are you? We are evangelical Christians, Bible believers. It's not denominational, okay? We just believe in Christ Jesus as the Lord and only the way to be saved. Okay, if you need more, I'll give you some. You could email on this email and they will send it to you. 
You may give it. Okay. God bless. God bless. Wonderful news of salvation. A greatest news about the hope and mercy and love that God so loved this world. He sent His begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him want to be perish. And I'm here to remind you that Jesus is the Lord who died for my sins. I take at you and my transgressions. In the next few days, we're going to celebrate Christmas. But Christmas not about the gifts. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas is about the Jesus Christ who quit his glory in heaven, took flesh, born on the earth, love of God, who was a slain for you and for me, was killed, was crucified, died and rose according to scripture, that today you and I may have this hope. And today is a day of grace. Today is a day of mercy. God forgives the sin. We all are sinners. We all born in sin. And God commands all of us to repent. But only Jesus could give you hope and forgive your sin. Maybe you don't know what is right, what is wrong. I want to encourage you to read the Bible. Read the Bible and you'll know what is right. You, you need to repent in your sin. Otherwise, you'll see Jesus as a judge and you will be sent. You'll be sent to the hell. But the Christ wants to see you in heaven. Remember that Christmas is not Santa Claus. Christmas is about the Christ and his victory on the cross. He is the only the way to be saved. Dear souls, God loves you very much. Open your eyes, eyes of your hearts. The devil deceived you. The devil, devil put his chains on you. But only Jesus could make you free. Only blood of Jesus could destroy the chains which are on you. Come to the cross. Come to the Jesus. You need his blood. Christ's blood he shed on the cross which washes and cleanses from all our sins. If you want to live forever, you need to have a Jesus. You must be born again. And today is a day of grace and mercy. God commands all men on the earth to repent to repent and believe in the gospel. We all are guilty. We all deserve to everlasting death. But praise God for the cross. Praise God for the hope we have. But we need to repent. We need to change our lifestyle. Wonderful news of salvation. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Come to Jesus. Read the water, living water. Jesus is the living water. You don't need to have a gold. You don't need to have a silver. Drink it, drink it, and you're never going to become thirsty again. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Jesus is the bread of life. He is the only the way to be saved. And the purpose of your living on the earth is the salvation. What are your priorities? To become a rich, to have a good education, nothing wrong with this, but it's not priority. Priority is to know Jesus, to be saved, because we are temporarily on this earth. We cannot stay on this earth. We cannot take anything with us when we're going to stand in front of God and see Him eye to eye. Only Christ Jesus is the Lord, and only He could forgive your sins and give you a gift of everlasting life. Look at the sun. Look at the sun. Look at the stars. Look at the moon. God created heaven and earth. And God created us by His image and likeness. But sin separated us from God. And sin brought the death penalty. But God came into this world not condemned, but to help. And He fulfilled the plan of salvation on the cross. When God, Father, has sent His begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, He is the way, He is the truth, 
He is the life. What is your decision, this soul? What do you need that you could become a successful and say, I'm successful? You need to Jesus. You need His peace. Peace in your heart. That most important. And we don't have a lot of time. Christ is coming back. We live on the end times. We live on the end times. Choose the life. I cannot repent uh, instead of you. I cannot give you salvation. I cannot. But I can share this wonderful news. I can share with you about the Christ who loves you, who wants to forgive you. But you are free to make decision, to choose it. You are free to choose the life or choose the death, to choose the darkness or choose the light. Choose the life. Choose Jesus because He is the light of the world. Choose the life. Choose salvation. But you need to repent. You need to change your lifestyle. Christ, life is wasted. Without Jesus, life is wasted. Without Christ, you'll steal and you, and you sin and you die and you sin. And sin will take you to the hell. And I do not scare you. It says the wonderful news of salvation. If you want it, you could read it from the Word of God, which is a living word. More than diamonds, more than gold. Word of God, which could bring you to salvation. What about you guys? Good tidings of great. It's about Jesus Christ. What about you guys? What about you? The Word of God. From the Word of God. You could read about the way how to be saved. What about you, dear souls? Remember, without Jesus, Messiah of Israel, life is wasted. He is only the way to be saved. Read the Bible. God loves you. But you need to repent. You need to change your lifestyle. What about you? What about you? Love this world. He said he is begotten son. That whosoever believes in him want to be perished. But have everlasting life. God bless you. Where are you from? Okay. Remember Jesus is only the way to be saved. But we need to repent and change our lifestyle. Read the Bible. You have a Bible? Read it. Read it. God bless your hearts. Wonderful news of salvation. God so loved this world. He sent His begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him. Want to be perished but have everlasting life. Christmas is not about the trees or gifts. Christmas is about Jesus Christ. He is the Lord and only the way to be saved. Come to Jesus. Repent in your sin. Change your lifestyle. Re believe in the Messiah of Israel. Yeshua, Jesus is the Lord and only the way to be saved. What about you, dear lady? What about you? This is from the Word of God. You could read it. It's more than gold. It's more than diamonds. The Christ Jesus is the purpose of our living on the earth. Dear souls, choose the life. Oh Lord, help these people, Lord. They are in the blindness, Lord. They are blind. Lord, help these people. Save the Lord. Save these people, Lord. Be merciful to them. Do not die. Do not die. Christ is the way to be saved. Choose the life. Choose the Lord Jesus. Repent in your sin. Change your lifestyle. Christ is coming back. We live in end times. But today is a day of mercy. Today is a day of grace. Repent in your sin. Repent in your sin. Repent in your sin. Change your lifestyle. Because tomorrow could be late. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God. Father God. One day, we're all going to stand in front of God and see Him eye to eye. To respond. To respond. But until you're still alive, you have a hope. That's why we are here. To remind you about God's love. That God loves you very much. And He wants to see you in heaven. God wants to forgive your sins. But you need to choose. God, you need to repent. You need to change your lifestyle. And my Lord bless you to make this decision. That you'll be in heaven. You'll be in heaven. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What about you? Maybe give you a flower. 
مرحبا Let's go. Hi guys, how are you doing today? I have a good news for you about Jesus Christ and His love. Okay, you need to be born again. You need to become a Christian. What about you? Baptized doesn't help and cannot make you free. What about you? Maybe give you a flyer. Read the Bible, but only Christ could make you free. We now must be change our lifestyle and believe in the biblical Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16 says that God so loved this world, He sent His begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not to be perished, but have an everlasting life. Salam alaikum. God be giving you. It's a it's you. Please read it. It's about the Isa. But remember that God loves you and Jesus is only the way to be saved. This world, he sent his begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not be perished, but have everlasting life. It's about the Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is only the way to be saved and who commands all men on the earth to repent and change lifestyle. He is the way to the heaven and the purpose living on the earth to know the Christ, not to become a rich or have a fancy car, but to be safe. Because we are comfortably on this earth. We cannot stand on this earth. Jesus Christ is only the way to be safe. The gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16 says that God so loved this world, He sent His begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him want to be perished but have an everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the way and only the way to be saved. Next several days we'll, we'll celebrate Christmas. But Christmas is not about the trees. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas is not about the games. Christmas is about the Jesus. And what He done for all of us on the cross. Because of our salvation started there, where Jesus Christ is born. Jesus is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. But with His glory and a heaven, took the flesh and was born on the earth to fulfill the plan of salvation. Because we all are sinners, it's what the Bible says, and our punishment for sin is to death. But Christ died for our sins. Because He loves, He loves us as a human being. God created us by His image and likeness. God created everything and everything belongs to God because He is the King. And sure, one day, as the Bible states very clearly, we we'll stand in front of God and see Him face to face to respond for our life. But sin and the punishment for sin is a death. We must be covered if we want to be forgiven, but only covered through Jesus Christ and His blood He shed on the cross. His love, mercy, and love, and grace endures forever. But you are free to make decision. You are free, but God commands all men on the earth to repent. And we are here to proclaim glory of Christ. We are here to remind you that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see what's going in the world. We live on end times. But we never know what would happen with us even today. God forgive my sins. Even if I'm going to die later today, I'll be in heaven not because I am a good, but because Christ is my righteousness. What about you? God came into this world not condemned but to help. But you need to repent. You need to repent and change your lifestyle because the light is light and dark is dark. And the right is a right and the wrong is wrong and sin is a sin. If God says that homosexual relationship, it's a sin and abomination. It's a sin and abomination. I have a lot of friends who are homosexuals and I love them very much. But because I love them, I must tell them the truth. If they will not repent, they're going to go to hell. 
That's why I'm praying for them. That's why I'm asking Lord to give them mercy. Because the right, it's a right, the wrong is a wrong. If you cheat your wife or you cheat your husband, it's a sin to that. Don't do it. We're praying and God will forgive you. If you are in a sexual relationship before marriage, it's a sin and abomination as well, which is going to bring you to death. Everlasting death. Repenting your sin. Repent of your sin and read the word of God. I want to encourage you. Read the word of God. God commands all of us to reconcile. Reconcile with the God. But reconciliation only in Jesus and through Jesus Christ. He said himself that he is the way. He is the life. He is the truth. The purpose of a living on the earth to be saved for salvation only in the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is the way and only the way to heaven? What is your decision? I understand that you are free. Maybe you live in a style you like very much. You follow the agenda of this world and you are free to make decisions whenever you want. But do not forget that we are temporarily on this earth. We cannot stand on this earth. Earth is not our final home. One day, as the Bible says, we're going to die. And God admitted to all of us a day when we stand, when we will stand in front of God and see Him eye to eye and face to face to respond to our life. Read the Word of God and compare what the Bible says, what the Bible says. Because you need the Jesus Christ as the Lord to be saved. Because one day, one day, we're all going to stand in front of God and see Jesus eye to eye to respond. Because God is the God. And Christ is the Lord, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Everything belongs to Him. God created all the earth, all the universal, us as a human being. That's why everything belongs to Him. If we do crime, we must be arrested and see a judge. Even if you're going to cry, even if you're going to cry, judge will will send us to a jail for crime. We did it. When we do sin, we must be punished. Because God is holy. But instead, to punish us, Father sent the God and Son, who died for you and for me. Instead of you and me, He was punished. And everyone who believes in Christ and born again, never going to be judged. One day when we see Lord God, we we'll see Him as a Savior. If we are Christians, followers of the Christ Jesus. But again, what does it mean to become a Christian? If I'm going to wear a chain with a cross, am I a Christian? Not. If I become a church member, am I a Christian? Not really. I must be born again. You must be born again. You must do change your lifestyle and believe in a biblical Jesus Christ. You must change your mind. You must be born again. Supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. But you need to humble yourself. You need to admit your sin. You need to come to Jesus. You need to repent. You need to repent of your sin. But only Jesus could give you faith and the mercy of repentance. I cannot repent this of you. I cannot be saved this of you. You must make a decision. And I'm here to encourage you. Choose the life. Choose the Jesus. We are strangers and aliens on this earth. We are very temporary and life passes very fast. But Christ is only the way to be saved. You too are, you are Muslim, you are Hindu, whoever you are. You need to have a Lord Jesus to be saved. You need to know Jesus to be forgiven. You need to come to Him with a humble heart. To admit it, with admitting of your sin. And I gave your sin to Christ. Because He cares and He cared. And He went to the cross for you and for me. Jesus is the Lord. He is the Lamb of God. Who was a slave. And has shed His blood on the cross. Blood of Lord Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ our Lord washes and cleanses us from all our sins. And the Lord God, who has a right as a King of Kings, commands all men on the earth to repent. Repent in your sin until it's not too late. God loves you very much, but punishment for sin is a death. But the everlasting life is a gift of Christ through mercy of repentance. Accept mercy of God. Repent in your sin. 
Change your lifestyle. Choose the lie. Turn your hearts from the darkness to the light. Turn your hearts from the evil one to the righteous one. Turn your hearts from the devil to the Christ. Because Jesus Christ loves you very much. But you need to repent of your sin. Because right is right and wrong is wrong. You may follow the agenda of this world. You may say whatever you want. But the word of God endures forever. Nobody, nobody could change the word of God. Because the truth, it's the truth. And a lie, it's a lie. If God says that homosexual relationship is an abomination and sin, it is abomination and sin. If you find yourself in this sin, God loves you, repent. Repent, I love you, God loves you, but the right is the right, and wrong is the wrong. If you find yourself in a lie, it's a little bit easy, right, to understand the lie is a sin. What about cheating your wife, if you cheat your husband, what do you think? It's a dad to sin to dad, for punishing your sin and God will forgive you. What about, what about sexual relationship before marriage, what do you think? You may say you are free, you could make, you could choose whatever you want. Yes, you're right, you could choose. But this is a sin to that, repent you sin, because God will judge you. And God wants to forgive you. God wants to give you life, everlasting life, because God wants to see you in heaven. And this is the truth of the Bible. Maybe you think differently. She is a lesbian sin, and she must, she must repent, because she lives in abomination. I respect her and I love her as a human being, but she is in a sin. And every Christian who hears me, we must to pray for her and for all people, our government, that they know the cry of Jesus, that they will repent, because without Christ, by still living in a sin, God will punish Chicago. God will punish Chicago. Because our government in a sin, government of this city in a sin, and because that, God will punish Chicago. Repenting is sin. God commands all people. We are not better than any other people. I'm not better than you. But God gave me mercy. And I'm here to share with you about God's mercy. I'm here to remind you that God loves you, but you need to repent. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to become a born again. Come to Jesus. He has enough power. Power of the Holy Spirit. And He will help you. That your eyes, eyes of your hearts, could be open. Ask the Lord for faith. Only God could give you faith to believe that Christ Jesus who is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And only the way to be saved. again. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Jesus is the bride of life. He is the everlasting life. Come, you don't need to have a money. Come, it's a free and eat the bread of life. And you live forever. But you need to repent in your sin. We're all born in sin. Repent in your sin. Change your lifestyle. Turn your hearts to the cross. Climb it, climb into the Calvary. Look at him, at the Lamb of God, Jesus who took you and my sins, went to the cross, Lamb of God who was slain and shed his blood, blood of Jesus which washes and, God bless you, washes and cleanses us from all our sin. You need to have a Jesus Christ and believe him as the Lord. You need to change your lifestyle and admit your sin if you want to be forgiven. Dear souls, purpose, purpose of our living on the earth, to be saved, but without Jesus, life is a waste. Maybe you are rich, maybe you are a very healthy person, but without Jesus, God will judge you and send you to hell. And I don't like to preach about hell, but the uh, Bible speaks about hell. But hell created not for the human being, but for the devil. But today is the day of grace and mercy. God commands all men to repent. And God came into this world, sorry. God came into this world not condemned. Not condemned. Not condemned. But have an everlasting life. Everlasting life is a gift of God. Gift of God. But you need to repent. And God bless you.
out to all of us. We are weak and the sinners. And Baba stated that we all were weak and the sinners. And upon the foreseen, it's a doubt. But God so loved this world. He sent His begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way and only the way to be saved, who took you and my punishment, you and my sin, went to the cross and was crucified at the pillage. God bless you, dear ladies. You need Jesus and the friend, and I'll see you in the heaven. May the Lord bless you to choose the life. And God commands all men on the earth to repent and believe in the gospel. And the gospel is the wonderful news. Wonderful news of salvation. That today is a day of grace. Today is a day of mercy. God forgives the sin in the Lord Jesus Christ. Only one name under the heaven we have to whom we could be saved. And the name is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who commands all men on the earth to repent and to change the lifestyle. And I'm here proclaiming, I'm here proclaiming glory of Christ, and that He is the way and only the way to be saved. And I'm here to remind you God's love that today is a day of mercy. Today is a day of grace. Repent. Repent, dear people of Chicago, dear citizens of Chicago, dear guests of Chicago. Repent in your sin and turn yourself to the Lord because the right is a right and wrong is a wrong. Open eyes of your hearts. Come to Jesus. He is the Lord and only the way to be saved. Jesus Christ is the purpose of our living on the earth. Repent in your sin, because the God's judgment will occur the soon, and all the buildings will be destroyed. All the buildings will be destroyed. God will punish Chicago. God will punish beautiful America, unfortunately. America turns on the God. Repent until it's not too late. Repent until it's not too late. The God judgment is coming. The Lord is righteousness and He will judge God. Praise God for this day. The day of grace and day of mercy. When we could repent. When we could come to the Lord. When we could climb to the cross. The place covering with our Lord was whoever believes in him will not be perished but have an everlasting life. Christ Jesus came into this world not condemned but to help. We all are sinners. We all born in darkness. But a Christ is the light and light of the world. He died for you in my sins on the cross. He is the Lamb of God who was slain and shed His blood on the cross, the blood of Jesus, which washes and cleanses us from all our sins. And a God commands, and He has a right to command because He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And a God commands all men on the earth to repent and believe in the gospel. 